question is, what is a wide angle lens? Now there's a whole range of lenses that you can get for your DSLR camera. And when they say wide angle lens, what they're really talking about is the field of view and having a wide field of view. So to put this in context, um, here I have a wide angle zoom and here's a 50 mil standard lens. So what I mean by 50 mil, that's the focal length of the lens. So 50 mil on a full frame sensor is considered standard length. And then as you get wider from that, as the field of view gets wider, then you're looking at wide angle range. And what happens is the focal length is decreased. So that like if you go down to 35 millimeter and 24 and 16, as that focal length decreases, the field of view gets wider and that's your wide angle lens range. So the best way is probably to illustrate on the board here. If we have our sensor here at the back, so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna do a kind of a rough sketch on what it is. I'm not gonna show you all the different lens elements, just basically uh, the concept. So we have the sensor and we have Let's say our lens element is there. So what it is, is that's the focal length. So for our standard length, that focal length is 50 millimeters. So it's really that distance from a certain point in the lens elements to the actual sensor. And what that does is it gives you a certain angle of view. So with a normal lens, that's just under just under 40 degrees, like 39.6. So now, if we have a lens that has a smaller focal length, where we move that lens element closer, so let's say we have a, a 24 millimeter lens, then what happens is, as you can see, the, the field of view, if we draw it through that center of that lens element, the field of view is wider. So now we've got a much wider angle. So in this case, we're up to like 73.7 degrees. Horizontal angle of the frame of the actual image that you're capturing. So then, then on the other end of the spectrum, you have telephoto. So other side normal is like if you put, let's say our lens elements round, way down there. So the focal length in this case, let's say that's uh, well, that'd be about one, let's say two, well, let's say it's 200 millimeters. It'd actually be a little bit further out than that. So it'd be more like that. So as you can see, drawing those lines there, we've got a much narrower angle of view. With the 200 mil lens, we only got like about 10 degrees of view or just over. So, um, so you can see that, that focal length is what determines that field of view with your camera. And anything less than the 50 mil is considered wide. So as the lens elements closer, get closer and your field, gets, field of view gets wider, those are considered wide angle. And then you can get the extreme where you can, um, they, they can create these lens elements so that you get extremely wide view. So for instance, you can get these lenses that are like a, they're only like you know, four, point, four and a half or up to like eight millimeter lenses. So you end up with the situation where you've got super wide and or even fisheye lens. You might've seen those pictures where it's, it's really just round and there's like a 180 degree view all wrapped into this kind of spherical projection. Now with wide angle lenses, uh, they can get really expensive and it's a lot of it's to do with getting that front lens element larger so that you can take in that wide view. And, but a lot of the cost really is with lenses is more to do with the aperture. It's like this is a 2.8 lens, f2.8. Now that means that the aperture opens up as, as wide as 2.8. That's the widest aperture you can get. And with apertures similar to like wide angle lenses, the smaller the number, the bigger the actual aperture. So with, with the focal length, the smaller the number, the wider view, and with aperture, the smaller the number, the larger the opening. So what happens is, as you get a larger opening, 
all your lens elements have to accommodate for that and so you quite often have to have larger lenses especially up the front here so you'll notice that with um, better quality lenses that have a wider aperture they actually have larger lens elements so that just means there's more in manufacturing them and then you pay a lot more if it's the manufacturer's precision manufacturer so if the glass in your lens is precision glass and you know that doesn't have a lot of uh, distortion or color fringing then you're paying a lot more for that and that's so really it's not just that wide angle lenses are expensive it's professional level lenses are more expensive <music>